Welcome back. I'm Eric Sapanik. This is Quentin Spillane. This is the Gold Spot. All right, so news has been dominated by the speaker definitely on the last you know few nights. So nice. maybe, Quentin, you can kind of give us a little synopsis of what just happened. Sure, Eric. I'd actually be happy to. So for anyone who's not aware, the Republicans successfully ousted Speaker Kevin McCarthy from the speakership last night. It's been an embroiled battle between Matt Gates and Kevin McCarthy People are picking sides, but unfortunately, it looks like the Republicans are just a house divided. And Eric, regardless of what you think about Matt Gates, I do have to agree with him. The concept of de-dollarization in this country is an absolute catastrophe. And it's a growing concern because it's actually one of the most Googled terms in the country right now. For anyone who's not aware of de-dollarization, it's really just a term for the fact that countries around the world are starting to notice us printing to infinity and they're starting to get worried we can't pay back our debts. So with that type of problems brewing in the future, what can we expect to see for gold, Eric? Well, definitely the number one thing that people have asked me about recently is, you know, what's going on with gold prices? Why are they retracting when we're spending all of this money? Well, some of the turn, some of the things that you that our viewers should know is first of all, when you raise interest rates, what that does is it helps prop up the dollar. That's the idea behind raising the interest rates. Slow down the economy, make a stronger dollar. That's the whole idea. So one thing that we need to take into mind is as we're watching this debt grow exponentially and inflation continue to happen, there's still going to be the tricks that the Fed is trying to play to try to either A, curb down inflation or B, make sure that the dollar doesn't just go spiraling out of control. One thing that's interesting that came from Kitco News was a quote by Haras, and it is as follows, quote, the gold price tends to rise following the first cut of the U.S. interest rate cycles. On average, since 1984, one calendar year after the Federal Reserve first cuts its rates after a hiking cycle, gold is 10% higher than the day of the decision to reduce interest rates. And after two years is 18% higher. The dollar tends to weaken, yields on U.S. Treasuries fall, and the economy tends to have deteriorated. All of these elements can act as a tailwind for the gold price, end quote. So, Quint, what we're looking at right now is a lot of different factors. But going back to the idea be behind de-dollarization, mm -hmm. that is something that I think that we need to, con to continue to, to educate our client base, and that is, what are the BRICS nations and why is this important right now? So Eric, the BRICS nations, for anyone who aren't really aware, is just a coalition of breakaway nations, like I was mentioning, that doesn't really have faith in the U.S.'s ability to repay their debts. They recently just had a summit last month, and the concerning thing was actually that they added about eight new nations, most of which were OPEC nations. So not only are we getting de-dollarized around the world, but now there's going to be a coming choice between the U.S. dollar and potentially a gold-backed currency. I think it's pretty concerning. What about you? I definitely think it's concerning. And another thing that we talked about, I talked about last week was the, the OPEC nations forming against us is one of the biggest concerns that we should have right now. We see our, we are watching gold price, or I'm sorry, black gold prices being oil fly up to almost a hundred dollars a barrel and at that point we could very easily see gas prices rise in just the normal common not california but over here in arizona or anywhere else in the nation you know on average could climb past seven dollars if that happens that is going to absolutely strangle the lower side of the middle class rendering them no longer the middle class Right now, those that are making over $150,000 a year, 32% of that bracket is living paycheck to paycheck. That is a scary statistic. We highly suggest you go ahead, take a look at some of our reports. We have the modern monetary theory, of course. We also have the petrodollar that you might want to take a look at and digital currencies. These are the big ones that right now that everyone's been really giving us a lot of good feedback about, and I think that you should take a look. So with that being said, Quint, thank you so much Absolutely. for joining us today. We appreciate everything, and we will see you next week.